In 2015, within weeks of being elected as a member of parliament and assuming the role of Minister of National Defence, Minister Sejan was involved in the manipulation of a naval ship supply ship contract with the Davy Shipyard in Quebec. This cabinet scandal led to threats of lawsuits, investigations, and the scapegoating of Admiral Mark Norman, who was suspended by Minister Sejan and General Vance. En 2015, quelques semaines après avoir été élu député et nommé ministre de la Défense nationale, le ministre Sejan a été impliqué dans la manipulation d'un contrat d'approvisionnement avec le chantier Davy au Québec. Ce scandale du cabinet a entraîné des menaces, des poursuites judiciaires, des enquêtes et la désignation d'une bouc émissaire, l'amiral Mark Norman. Ce dernier a ensuite été suspendu par le ministre Sajan et le général Vance. On his first action as minister regarding an overseas Canadian Armed Forces operation, Minister Sajan misled the House of Commons when he suggested that none of Canada's allies objected to the decision of the new Liberal government to pull Canada's CF-18 fighter aircraft from the International Coalition fighting ISIS. This claim was shown to be false months later. On his first trip overseas to India as minister, in a speech to a business and political audience, Minister Sejan made a false claim about his own military service in Operation Medusa during the war in Afghanistan. This falsehood caused a domestic and international embarrassment for which he later apologized. The minister cut health care benefits for military members. The minister removed service pay from soldiers deployed overseas. The minister embarrassed our country when he bought used aircraft from Australia for use by our men and women and made up a story about a capability gap as an excuse to do so. And of course, three years ago, Minister Sejan failed a woman serving her country when he refused to act on a complaint of sexual misconduct against the Chief of Defence Staff at a time when the Canadian Armed Forces was leading Operation Honour to root out such conduct and to change the culture in our military. A cover-up of this incident ensued and that has eroded any shred of respectability the Minister may still have had with Canadians and those who serve our country. Minister Sajan has failed Canadian women serving their country. He has sullied the reputation of the Canadian Armed Forces. Yet he prefers to put political talking points ahead of the needs of our country and its people. Today, Parliament will censure this minister and condemn his failed and corrupt leadership. For months, we have been learning about the Liberal cover-up of sexual misconduct allegations in the military. The Minister Sejan a menti aux Canadiens qui servent leur pays. Il a sali la réputation des forces armées canadiennes. Maintenant, il veut faire des gains politiques plutôt que de répondre aux besoins de notre pays et de sa population. Aujourd'hui, le Parlement va blâmer ce ministre et condamner son leadership corrompu et parsemé d'échecs. Depuis des mois, nous en savons davantage sur le camouflage par les libéraux des allégations d'une conduite sexuelle dans les forces armées. This week, Conservatives called on Justin Trudeau to fire his Minister of Defence, Harjit Sejan. He refused. Mr. Trudeau won't fire Minister Sejan, and Minister Sejan won't do the honourable thing and resign. Cette semaine, les Conservateurs ont demandé à Justin Trudeau de congédier immédiatement son Ministre de la Défense, Harjit Sejan. Il a refusé, comme d'habitude. Mr. Trudeau ne veut pas congédier le Ministre Sejan. Et le ministre Sajjan ne va pas démissionner. L'histoire continue. Canadians deserve better than the scandals, corruption, and continual cover-ups that have taken root in Trudeau Liberal Ottawa. Minister Sajjan misled Canadians about his service. He mismanaged ships and jet fleet contracts, and he covered up sexual misconduct allegations for three years. That is not the record of a minister who can be trusted to implement the changes necessary to eliminate sexual misconduct in our military and change the culture. Now that the corrupt Trudeau government has made it clear that they don't care about the eliminating the issue of sexual misconduct in the military, the decision to fire Minister Sejan will ultimately be made by voters in the next election. 
I, along with the rest of Canada's Conservatives, will continue to stand up for the brave women in the Canadian Armed Forces who deserve much better. Today, Conservatives will be asking the House of Commons to formally censure Minister Sejan, who has lost the respect of members of the Canadian Armed Forces and lost the moral authority needed to implement the changes Canadians want to see in our military to eliminate sexual misconduct and to make the culture more open. Aujourd'hui, les conservateurs vont demander à la Chambre de censurer officiellement le ministre Saint-Jean. Celui-ci a clairement perdu le respect des membres des Forces armées canadiennes. Il a perdu l'autorité morale pour mettre en œuvre les changements nécessaires pour éliminer l'inconduite sexuelle dans nos Forces armées. More scandals, more corruption, more cover-ups. That is what Canadians can expect from Mr. Trudeau and his Liberal government. There is only one choice, to end the cycle of corruption and to secure accountability in Ottawa. That is Canada's Conservative Party. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.